It's time to learn. Let's go. Welcome back, everyone. In the previous series of Theory of Music, we have learned about different types of note values. Ruby, can you please do a quick recap for us? Yes, teacher. One crotchet is one beat. A crotchet beat can be divided into two quavers, and two quavers can be divided. Into four semiquavers. Very good, Ruby. As you can see, each note value can be evenly divided into twos or fours. Have you ever wondered what the notes would look like if they were divided into odd numbers like three or five? What? How? Can we, teacher? As a matter of fact, yes, we can. We can divide a beat into three, and this is called a triplet. Triplet. A triplet is a group of three notes that are played in the time of two. Each note in the triplet has equal rhythmic value. Okie dokie. Now let's take a look at a few types of triplets that we are going to learn today. What we're seeing here is a quaver triplet. The quaver triplet is also known as the eighth note triplet in the U.S. But teacher, how do we know what is the total value for the quaver triplet? Well, sum up the first two note values of the triplet, and you'll get the total value. Hence, for quaver triplet, it fits into a crotchet beat. Got it, teacher. How do we count the quaver triplets? Here's how we do it. Let's begin with the crotchet beats. One, two, three, four. Now with two quavers in one count. One and two and three and four and. Now it's time for the triplet. When vocalizing the triplet rhythm, we can use the similar language for the three pulses of a triplet by saying triplet. We can also insert the number of the beat of the triplet at the beginning, like so. Oh, if you're looking for something funny, there's also the banana method. Ba 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 banana. <laughs> Let's clap the quaver triplet in four beats. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. That's cool. Let's move on to another type of triplet, the crotchet triplet. Crotchet triplet. Crotchet triplet is also known as quarter note triplet in the U.S. You usually see the crotchet triplets either written with a curved line, or you might see them notated with brackets directly above or below the notes. Do take note that the bracket follows the stem of the crotchets. So when we have a downward-facing stem, the bracket is at the bottom of the triplet, like so. Okie dokie, teacher. What is the total value of this crotchet triplet? Remember, the sum of the first two note values is the total value of a triplet. So one crotchet plus one crotchet equals the value of one minute. Let's clap the crotchet triplets. Here's the beat. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Next, we have the semiquaver triplet. Semiquaver triplet. Semiquaver triplet is also known as sixteen note triplet in the U.S. A group of three beamed quavers or semiquaver triplet do not need the bracket or curved line to indicate they are triplets. They just need to have a number three above or below the notes. The total value of a semiquaver triplet is equal to one quaver beat. Because one semiquaver plus one semiquaver equals one quaver. You are right, Ruby. Now let's clap the semiquaver triplet. Here's the beat. One and two and ready, go. One and two and one and two and. There are times where we don't have to use only notes in the triplet. We can include rests too, whether it's the third note, middle note, or the first note, to replace them with rest. How to count them, teacher? Don't worry, Ruby. As long as the total value of the notes and rests add up to the correct value of the triplet, and remember, each note or rest in a triplet has equal rhythmic value. Okie dokie. Come. Let's clap the triplets with rest. One, two, ready, go. One, 
One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. So groovy. I like it. Let's recap. Notating triplets. Crotchet triplet, quaver triplet, and semi-quaver triplet. To be a triplet, it needs to have a number three above or below the notes. Use a bracket for the crotchet triplet. The number three follows the direction of the stems. A quaver triplet and semi-quaver triplet have beams connecting them together. Hence, they don't need brackets. Counting triplets. The total value of crotchet triplet equals a minimum beat. The total value of quaver triplets equals a crotchet beat. And the total value of a semi-quaver triplet is equal to a quaver beat. Thank you so much for watching this episode. We hope you had fun learning about triplets. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Click on the little bell to receive notification on our latest posts. See you next time.